In the last video, we took the scamp out for our Labor Day weekend camping trip. We headed to the northern part of the Pine Barrens to Brendan Burns State Park. Once the campsite was all set, we headed over to Packham Pond and checked out the hiking trails around the pond and some very neat carnivorous plants. Redford enjoyed splashing around and getting muddy. And then we headed over to historic White's Bog Village and it just so happened that they were having a festival that day. We got to see the historic buildings and listen to a little bit of live music before heading back to our campsite and enjoying a nice fire. There are a few things that I enjoy as much as relaxing in a hammock and getting to read something interesting. And there are a few things that Redford enjoys more than rolling around in the sand and soaking up the sun. I enjoy some chili. You should go in the hammock with the pillow. It's very comfortable. And then I will bring you eggs and bacon. <laughs> Ooh. Turkey bacon. Oh. Problem is though, when you have a RV like this, you, you're always inside. <laughs> Better get a teardrop. I just like the option of making coffee inside. Yeah. You know, if it's yeah. like raining or something. Oh. That is the word. That sucks. If you're a teardrop, you have to go outside. Mm -hmm. Well, like when we were camping last year for your birthday. Mm. And it started like sleeping. That was horrible from the outside. Yeah. It was so cozy inside though. Yeah. Even now it's a little chilly at night. Yeah. That's why you keep stealing my blanket. Why do you keep stealing my blanket? When we get eggs, we always try to get the cardboard containers because, well, these are more recyclable, but um, they make the greatest fire starters. So here's one that I put together, you take the cardboard egg container and you put dryer lint in it. And then you take um, just like a little bit of wax that's left in the bottom of an old candle and melt it. Pour it on top to seal in all that dryer lint and then you just rip off sections of it. That's how we started the fire last night and it started really fast. It's like the, the easiest fire starter that you can make. And there's Redford. He's been going back and forth from napping in the shade to napping in the sun. It's a hard life to be a Redford. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Do you want some? <laughs> like, yes. Right now we're trying to figure out what our plan is for today. And um, it looks like we might do a one mile loop trail over by the office. Right now we're going to go get snacks and um, figure out what we want to do from there. Just like usual, the uh, campground kind of cleared out on Sunday, even though it's Memorial Weekend and uh, I'm off tomorrow. So that's why we wanted to come out this weekend, take advantage of the three day weekend and really just things have been super hectic like the past five or six weeks. I think this is the first trip we've done in like six weeks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Last weekend we took Red to the uh, wildlife refuge for a little while and we both got attacked by chiggers and ticks. So if you look at my legs, it looks like I have measles. <laughs> there are bug bites like all over my legs. They're so itchy. So we're not super <laughs> motivated to do hiking this weekend because I can't take any more bug bites and um, a few years ago we came here with the motorcycle we did I think we did our first motorcycle camping trip here right yep yeah like a little while after you got the bike we packed up all of our camping gear and uh, did our first overnight camp with the motorcycle here and 
went for a hike and ended up getting a ton of ticks all over us. So we already know this place is um, not the greatest with ticks. So the plan is um, I'm making a tomato and pepper salad. Pat went to the farm on Friday, right before I got home from work and picked up our CSA share. So we had a ton of tomatoes, red peppers and arugula. And then I'm throwing in some fresh mozzarella cheese and some dressing. And then we're just gonna do like a real short little one mile loop that goes out from the visitor center. And it actually might be the ADA accessible trail. So it's like wide and flat and hopefully not too many ticks. This is our new favorite dressing the Bolt House Farm Cilantro Avocado. It's awesome. <laughs> Might have put too much salad in. Yeah. Okay. The Cranberry Trail goes out from the visitor center, which is a little ways down from the camping area, but this is the trail that is ADA accessible or handicap accessible. It's wide and flat, so it's nice to have options. People of different physical abilities can get into the woods and enjoy it. And it's nice because South Jersey is a coastal plain area. Everything's pretty flat, and that really makes it easier for people who are not looking to do a bunch of elevation change or a really strenuous hike. You can still enjoy some time in the woods. Is it that way? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any hey, ticks? Watch that. Alright, back to the office and then shower. Nice little evening walk. It's a good loop, yeah. yeah. It's nice that uh, it's later in the day right now. Yeah. Whenever possible, we try to go directly from hiking or being in the woods to taking a shower to really make sure that we find any ticks. And the showers at Brandon Burn are actually pretty nice. They have hot water, so that's a big plus. We filled the water tank in the scamp when we got here, and it's like just getting toward empty from like washing dishes and flushing the toilet and stuff. So we are using the Hilo shower to fill it back up, which we've done a couple times. We did that in West Virginia. And uh, I think just having the shower is super helpful. Like we've been using it to wash our hands and stuff outside like if I'm in the kitchen so, so Pat doesn't get in my way. <laughs> it's really come in handy. Yeah. Even if we didn't have uh, any water in the scamp, even for the toilet and everything, we'd still use it. You could flush it, yeah. yeah. I'm definitely going to try to set up some sort of an outdoor shower thing with the awning. Get like a hula hoop and a shower curtain. I think we could have our own yeah. outdoor shower without having to uh, have a whole setup.
The next morning it was time to pack up the scamp and head home. I don't know why three day weekends go so fast, but they really do. So I got everything cleaned up because the scamp was going to be sitting for a little while before we had time to do another trip. But we already knew that this year we want to do a good job of winterizing the scamp, but winterizing it in a way that we can still use it. This has been such a weird year and I feel like we got cut short on a lot of the camping trips that we had planned. So to make up for that, we wanna to try to push the scamp and get as much use of it as possible throughout the winter season try to get into some cold weather camping so we're excited to share that okay everything's pretty much closed up and ready to go the uh, one thing that we just added for this trip is our toothbrush holder which i really enjoyed the last two days so um it's velcroed right now so that it stays closed toothbrushes and then when we're moving put that little piece of velcro there and they'll flop around a little bit but they should be good and uh, it just makes it easier doing our whole morning and evening routine okay I think we're, uh, we're ready Pat is uh, dumping the tanks right now but we actually realized that this weekend is our one year anniversary of uh, being RVers because we bought the scamp like right at the end of August and then Labor Day weekend last year was our first official trip. We did our shakedown trip at um, Bass River. So one year officially. Thanks for coming along on our Labor Day camping trip. Make sure you're subscribed because we have a bunch more camping trips coming up for the fall and the winter season and we hope to see you there. Well, you worried about you and me, the injustice, the next president to be, the news and watch here your career. It's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair to be aware and I'll be there. So don't be scared, just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again, and no time flies. We have enough to